Greetings everyone, I'm Jonathan Bailey from the site Plagiarism Today, which can be found at PlagiarismToday.com. Um, today the news that like leapt out of me when I was reading through my Google News this morning was that Viacom and Google have struck a deal on video rentals. This one's actually pretty fascinating because as we all know that Google and Viacom are in the middle of this really big billion dollar lawsuit. Um, over YouTube's early days, if you will, and a lot of people are f kind of flailing around wondering how can the two work together? How can Google ever consider doing this with the Viacom, their arch nemesis? This is like, you know, Batman and Joker working together. This is horrible, horrible stuff. Should never actually happen. And of course, the problem with that is it's also complete malarkey. <laughs> um, you know, basically, there's two types of lawsuits in the world. The first type is the type where money doesn't matter. It's just, I want revenge. I want to get back at the person who did me wrong. I want to, you know, get even. This is all about setting the world right and you know, getting finding justice and whatnot. And the second type of lawsuit is business. It's about, hey, this guy cost me X amount of money. This company, you know, did so much in damages. Or there's so much money to be made here by going to court over this this is a business decision we need to file suit and in that, those cases like I said it's, it's a just business and B the lawsuit is primarily a tactic for negotiation you look at what good lawyers do they work very very hard to keep their clients out of court because courts are unpredictable you don't know what a judge or a jury is going to say or what they're going to do you want to stay out of court and use that threat of court as a lever for negotiations and in fact, you know, the mere fact that um, the Viacom YouTube case has gone as far as it has, all the way to an appeal now, um, that's a highlight of the fact that negotiations have failed and one or both sides really failed in their job to resolve this matter quickly. However, since it is just a business lawsuit, and it's a personal, I mean, how can two companies have a personal lawsuit anyways? But the fact that it's a business lawsuit doesn't mean, doesn't preclude the idea that they're going to work together on other fronts. You can have a disagreement about one thing and have make a decision to file a suit over and still work together elsewhere. And in fact, the Viacom YouTube case is pretty much exclusively about the pre-Google days for YouTube. So it makes perfect sense that uh, Viacom would want to work with Google on YouTube in you know, sort of the post-Google takeover era. That makes complete sense. There's no reason for Viacom not to. So I'm going to be very interested to follow this experiment. Um, like I said, Viacom, 500 movies, uh, letting people rent them over uh, YouTube and Google Play. Google Play, I believe, is, I don't know too much about it, but I believe that's what they kind of converted Google Music Player to. And it's now like a, more of a whole robust iTunes thing where you can buy music and movies there. So it's, it should be fascinating to see how this works and how long this partnership lasts. Um, but yeah, I'm not surprised to see Viacom and Google fighting in one hand and working together in the other. It's kind of the nature of the beast here. These are two very large companies with many irons in the fire. And so it's very natural they'd be competitors or enemies in one area and partners in another. I wouldn't let that shock you and all. In fact, don't let it shock you if it happens with other big companies elsewhere. And the truth of the matter is these personal I hate your gut lawsuits are very, very rare. And they're very rare because they're a waste of money. You know, people very rarely are willing to throw away thousands, even millions of dollars on a lawsuit just because of hurt feelings. Um, you know, there's always, almost always at least, some other motivation behind it. So, not a surprise at all. Well, on that note, uh, keep an eye open for that. We'll be talking about the three count. And also, join me and Patrick O'Keefe for the Copyright 2.0 show today at 5 p.m. at plagiarismtoday.com slash podcast. Uh, feel free to join us. We would love to have you there in the chat. We're talking about this story and several others, I'm sure. In the meantime, this is Jonathan Bailey signing off.